Hey, so today I am recording a video on the Kind Twist system and the Spectra S2 uh, breast pump. So I stumbled upon the Kind system on my baby registry account. It was just a recommended new product. I hadn't heard about it, but it was said it was great for breastfeeding mothers and pumping mothers. And after looking at it, it seemed really simple and convenient. So I ended up registering for it and I got it. And I'm so glad I did because it's awesome. Um, I just want to add a little side note that I was going to get dressed up and do my hair and makeup for this video because I know a million people are going to view it. But realistically, that's not what moms within their first six weeks at home with their baby are doing. So I'm wearing a robe and Christmas socks and I'm filming this as my six week old naps. But I just am so happy with the system that I figured it'd be great to get this out there for other moms who are looking into this stuff and preparing for their baby to arrive. So I'll start the video going into the Kind system and all the products that they have that I've purchased. And then I'll go over the breast pump because I know when I got this breast pump, I had no idea how to use it. And now I kind of have a little system going on that works for me. So here we go. Okay, so these are what the bags look like. I keep them right underneath my pump in the nightstand here in the nursery, so it's convenient. You open up the bottom for the most accurate measure of the breast milk when it's in the bag, and then you undo the top, and you put it in the adapter. So this is the Spectra S2 adapter. Screw it right on there, and then it goes directly onto your pump. And then from there, you just put that right on the breast and it pumps into the bag. Once it's done, you unscrew it. I usually use the haka on the other side. And I find that works best for me. And when it's done, you click it into this shell here. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. When you hear that snap, you know that it's in. So this is what it looks like when it's done. It's in the shell, snapped in with the nipple on it. You can tip it upside down, it doesn't leak out. This is a slow flow nipple. They come in fast, medium, and slow. Um, the fast is in the white container, medium would be in the blue, and the slow is in um, the green. We've been using slow, a little bit of medium sometimes to see if that works for her. But the way that you would snap that in, unscrew the top once everything's secure, take that bottom part off of the case, press it down, lift it up, and that's it. The only part that you need to wash afterward is the nipple. So it's so convenient. Instead of washing bottles constantly, you're just sanitizing um, the nipple. So I just took this out from the fridge and I'm gonna show you the warming system it comes with. This came in the breastfeeding starter pack and it's so convenient. You just turn this dial. It's 2.5 ounces, so that'd be around four minutes to heat it up. And it just heats that up for you. You have to refill the water every couple of days so it doesn't go dry and you wait for the timer to go off and then that milk is done. Inside the box it comes with a warming time chart so I keep that on my fridge and I usually just warm it up in the breast milk storage bag so I've circled that. But They have everything from plastic bottle to food jar and all the different ounces. The starter kit also comes with one of these stands so if you're freezing or storing breast milk in the fridge it's really helpful and I started getting a supply going on here. Um, all of the letdown that I clocked with the Hakka, I then put into a bag at the end of the day and put it in my freezer. So this is what one of the boxes look like, if you're curious. I just bought an 80 pack, so it's the Kind Twist pouches. And as you can see here, directly into the pump and then click it right into the bottle. Pre-sterilized also, so you don't have to worry about washing anything. And you have to dispose of them afterwards. So it is a one-time use um, container, but like I said, you just have to wash the nipple afterwards and it saves so much time with cleaning bottles. So I'll just throw this in too. This is how I clean them and I put them on the Boone drying rack. They have a lot of other accessories if you're looking to purchase a funnel to transfer from the Hakka directly into the twist pouch. They also have silicone bottles. The silicone bottle is now recommended over the plastic bottle by ACOG. So this one, it's the same nipple. You click it into here, you put this top on it twist that on and then the nipple goes directly over that and that's just if you know you are at home and you don't want to waste one of the twist pouches. So as far as the breast pump goes there are a few different settings and this is the light for in the dark you turn that on um, the on button right here it'll start with different cycles on the left side you can see it'll go up to 54 
and all the way down to 38. So I find, I keep it right around 46, and I keep the vacuum all the way at level five for about the first minute, no longer, to get that milk flowing. And then once the milk is flowing, I go ahead and click this middle button, and then it really is pulsating out and collecting a lot of milk, all of the letdown. So five is the fastest vacuum um, that they have on this, and it goes all the way down to one, but I never really use that. I usually pump for about seven and a half minutes on each side. I know it's different for everybody. Some days I get more, some days less, and that's how it goes for me. I really like the system. I do wish that I got the battery operated one because I'm pretty confined to pumping where there's an outlet. But other than that, I have no complaints. And just showing, this is what the top of my nightstand drawer looks like in the nursery. I have a Sharpie to label when I pumped and what the ounces were, nipple cream, hand sanitizer. Uh, I keep the breast pads here and then more twist pouches over there. So that's my very amateur review on the Kind Twist System and the Spectra S2 breast pump. If you have any questions, um, leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you. And if you're interested, next vlog will be posted probably in two weeks or so, whenever I have the time. And it'll be on all the products that we've used within the first month of Natalie's life. So just the must-haves, things that we had and we had to go get, or things that I researched that were really helpful. So look out for that. Don't forget to subscribe if you're interested.